Hey everybody! At our school, we have several Seesaw Ambassadors. At our school, our top feature request is fix the Get Activity link in Seesaw. We love Seesaw. At our school, there are several power users of Seesaw and Google Classroom. We love Seesaw as a digital portfolio platform for engaging kids with formative and summative assessments. Notably, the Seesaw development team is adding extremely useful features all the time. For example, the upcoming ability to combine labels, photos, and videos all on the same page or the upcoming ability to link internally between different pages in a multi-page activity template. For example, providing a choice board and linking from page two directly to page five. Bravo, Seesaw. So Seesaw and linking from other platforms. However, like thousands or even millions of other teachers, Seesaw is not the only platform we use every day. In fact, many schools like ours require teachers to post instructions for assignments in another platform. For example, Google Classroom, Schoology, Toddle, there are so many others. And then we have to ask students to go do the work in Seesaw. There are various reasons we are required to do this. However, no matter the reasons, the process is messy and needs some attention. Before I describe a solution to this workflow, here is a list of things Seesaw can do related to links. Yes, Seesaw can link to external resources in an activity, like uh, to show students a website or a YouTube video. Yes, Seesaw can link from internal journal items by sharing the share item link. This is very useful. Anyone can see a student's journal item if they click this link, even if they're not logged in. I love this because we can put this in our report cards or newsletters or blogs. Regarding privacy, well, the post is anonymous, but of course, anyone can see it. Note, this link is only useful if a student has already completed an activity. So what if we need a link to remind students to start an activity? Well, more on this later. Yes, Seesaw can link from a template in your activity library to share templates with other teachers using the share activity link. This is very useful. Awesome for collaborating with colleagues on whole school activities or even district-wide initiatives. For example, our ABC countdown of the last 26 days of school. Even better, your teacher friend even gets an email with a try activity button linking to a page where they can copy your activity template to their own library. Fantastic. So what's missing? However, actually Seesaw cannot yet link from instructions for an assigned activity using the get activity link. This button sounds like it should help teachers copy and paste a link for students to click on other platforms and instantly see instructions for this specific assigned activity. However, what the coding for this link actually does is almost exactly the same as the share activity link uh, for teachers sharing with teachers. Let's compare the HTML code. The only difference is the unique token ID and prompt ID, even though one of these is a template and the other is supposed to be an assigned activity. So why do we need to fix the get activity link? Well, if this was fixed, students at risk would no longer be confused about which activity they need to do. For example, English language learners. Well, they could simply just click a link on our other platform, for example, Google Classroom, and they would instantly see and hear instructions for this assigned activity in Seesaw. There would be no extra mental energy required for ELL students to read instructions in Google Classroom remember how to log into Seesaw, scroll through a long list of incomplete Seesaw activities, and finally find the related activity they need to do. Furthermore, imagine students with time management issues, you know, those kids with 20 incomplete assignments in eight subjects. Well, they would know exactly which assignment to prioritize first when you remind them, hey, we're getting close to the end of the unit and I need you to show me what you know in link to XYZ activity. What questions do you have? the focus can come back to learning instead of technical workarounds. If this was fixed, teachers at risk of burnout <laughs> would not need to duplicate their efforts across two or more platforms. Thank you. Right now, teachers need to make a choice. They could copy and paste the instructions from Seesaw into their main platform. That's kind of sad because Seesaw's beautiful shortcode icons don't copy over. Or you could take a screenshot of a Seesaw assignment, download the screenshot to a folder, name the screenshot, remember where the screenshot saved, upload the screenshot into the main platform's instructions. That's a lot of steps. Or, like many, just write, go to Seesaw for more info. 
that choice is, well, Please help. not really helpful for the aforementioned ELL students or time management challenge kids. I feel stuck. So, problem in summary, the Get Activity link is incorrect. Workarounds cause stress for teachers and are time consuming. Students at risk are unnecessarily stressed with scrolling fatigue as they try to locate the exact seesaw assignment mentioned on the main platform, for example, Google Classroom. This includes students with English language needs and students with time management needs. So what's the solution? Just rewrite the PHP or JavaScript code for the Get Activity link. So let's assume anyone clicking the link is logged into Seesaw as either a teacher, student, or parent. If the person is a student from your class that hasn't posted yet, they would instantly see the activity pop up as soon as they click that link, as we would expect. However, if the person is a student who has already posted a response to the activity, that same link, if clicked, would automatically show them their journal post that relates to this activity. That's even better. Great work, Russell. I like how you used colors to separate the three parts of this compound shape. And there we go. We're strengthening the connection between our other platforms and Seesaw with this simple solution. However, what if the Get Activity link is shared with the wrong person? How can we protect children's privacy? Well, for example, if the person is not a student from your class who's clicked this link, they would get a message like this. Oops, looks like you're not yet a member of insert name of class. Contact your teacher if you need help. What if a parent is for some reason clicking on that link shared to the wrong class? That happens sometimes. They would see a message like, looks like your child is not a member of insert class name. Contact their teacher if you think there is an issue. If the person is a parent and their child is a student in the class, that's good. And the student hasn't completed the task yet. Hmm, how could this link be useful? Well, the parent logged in would see a message like this. Your child has not yet completed this assignment. Now imagine that this link can be used in an email or in a WhatsApp message communicating with parents. This really streamlines the whole explanation. So you could say something like, she's very kind to others. However, I notice she has many unfinished assignments since the holiday. Can you please ask her to finish this activity before Monday? And then you just paste in that link for that specific activity. There's no confusion here. So if the parent's child has already completed the activity, then that parent could click that link and the parent would see the corresponding journal item related to the activity. That's really helpful. Again, we can use that to share in our report cards, in our newsletters, or just in a congratulatory email. So this really would make the experience seamless between our other platforms and Seesaw for students, teachers, and parents. I just want to say thank you for listening. What do you think, Seesaw?